Hello everyone, I'm Dylan. Welcome back to No More Future. Yes, I am. John Coke from Dun Gun Rumba. What's your questions, nurse? Mary? Place the big people to talk to. Plenty of work to do. I don't have to have time and should be told neither do I. They're supposed to be here. Oh, okay, that's for ensuring. My name is not Isaac Asephiroff. Okay. But then, when I have the luxury of being late if I want, you unfortunately lack even that. I have six minutes left. Do wisely. It's a regular chart, of course, and then we can go a separate ways, having learned absolutely nothing. Yay! Or you can let me ask you a few more questions, even if they're a little off the rails, and maybe, you know, come out a little bit better after we started. I'm going to be. Sure, why not? You're already here. Tell me! The straight is only, you know, comfortable signs are all. Right. Can you read my mind? I don't think of anything inappropriate when she's around. But, but, but! <laughs> Other decided pondering for it for a while, you finally decided to enter the question of Siamese. Fine, I guess I can jerk a couple more questions if that's what it takes for you to start making some sense. Wonderful, trust me, you won't regret it. You're still weird though. Ha! Where doesn't even scratch it? But it's not open that can of worms just yet. Okay. The lady takes out a tablet from within her lab coat and makes it as if to write something on it. What pronouns do you use? What? What does that mean? Pronouns? Look, I know it's stupid, but no matter how this competition goes, I'll need to file a report once I get back. Company regulations require me to list your preference pronouns somewhere in there. Something about potential lawsuits and things of the sort. What? If you ask me this was a oops, meant to give in turn something to do, but what can you do? If you really don't want to answer, I can just write. No, it's fine. You should have no idea what any of this is for, but this is what it takes for the feline to start taking. All things considered, it could have been far worse, for sure. I think the use of my go by- Oh! Oh! Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, him. Finish shopping got down, under him. Alright, I'm just gonna remember that too. Thanks. Hold on to it. Got any more surveys you wanted me to take before you finally tell me what's going on? Going? Just people in charge of money to get their private member like this, you know? Ha! Fair enough! Don't worry, be compensated for the time you're lending me. More than enough, trust me. And in fact, we're done with the boring part. Let's get to the real men meat of the discussion, shall we? Sure. There's a point to all this? So I think you were just asking me all these questions for no reasons. Nah, this is a regular office bureaucracy thing. You know, the garbage that justifies the jobs of crush all over the world. A real question, hmm? Mm, okay. What, what, what do you want to know? Have you ever heard of synthetics? Yes. Synthetic spiders. Of course I've heard of those. They're eat, taking over the human race. Now you have no idea what she's in the world she's talking about. You mentioned those synthetics again. A term you feel as though you should remember. Ah! Think they heard about them once, maybe on the video news. The video news? What is the video news? Somewhere on the web. I can't say the topic very well, though. Video news. I am dummy! Our latest science project labs are going to directly oversee. No! Oh. We've been disclosing more information recently, but no one knows someone who was stuck in the hospital for half a year like you doesn't know about it. But simply, synthetics are bionic constructs made of both organic parts, artificially made of course, and mechanical ones. Oh. Excuse me, what's that word? Humanoid? An android, built to resemble and operate as if you were a real human. Right. Basically, they're just official bodies for owls. 
Is that AIs or owls? It's for owls. That sounds impressive, I guess. It has, hasn't it? I would know. You were the ones who first came up with that, after all. They were. They were. They were! Pandora Laboratories. Of subsidiary of Pandora Corporation specializes in high-tech R&D in the fields of robotics and software engineering. The vast majority of the most groundbreaking inventions of their last century were credited exclusively to them. Sure. Yeah, I learned about that. Why not? Tell me. Technology is something new. You're right about that. As far as AIs are concerned, at least. Sure, we'd be able to house artificial minds within our artificial bodies for decades. What about real minds? Oh, put me in a robot! That's what I want! That's what I want! Put me in a robot body! That's what I want right forever! Human bodies are built to last as you're completely really rolling. Over the course of time, we lose our youth, our beauty. Ah, I'm beautiful forever, baby! Our limbs, our sanity. Well, I have my limbs, I guess. Ultimately, we're doomed to lose our very lives. Yay! But machines still suffer from the same issues. They rust and stuff. They can continue to operate on and on and on. And repairing them is a way faster, cheaper, and easier. In theory, through etiquette upgrades and maintenance, even a computer from 800 years ago could continue to be useful in the thousands. What if we could just put your mind inside of my body? Go on. I'm in. I'm all in. <laughs> all right. Right. How much does alcohol did you drink on the way here? Hey! I have a cup worth of vodka mixed with a little bit of lemon juice and garlic chips. Garlic chips? Sounds about right. Garlic chips, yeah. This is my chase. So you know, I perfected my secret brew over many decades of experimentation. Sure. I ate some garlic once. It was. Very powerful. This is hardly relevant information right now. What you talk about? Are you insane? The fun kind, but nothing insane, nonetheless. <laughs> For sure, if you're making a product like this, it'd be Pandora. Even so, you're pretty confident not to even. Not even they could persistently pull this off. Can you actually do it? Here, take a look at our latest models. Without another word, Mary hands you a tablet where she previously wrote down your personal data and how about you take a look. The image passed on the high quality screen of a lizard body laying motionless with a complex tube like contraption. Uh, why does it have no clothes on? <laughs> it almost feels like it's an actual human inside of you. You can't go far as an orthodox science side. It's a giant lizard or wingless dragon with a sinuous body, powerful looking limbs, and a long tail. Ooh. Is his face, or rather its eyes, which are replaced with an LED visor that doesn't let you see his behind its cold black exterior. Doesn't seem like Doctor's lying about the android's existence. Put me in your body! Oh, ooh, swipe left on that one, swipe right on that one. Different angles. Take your fingers, screen, move your image, your look at the screen. There are dozens, no, hundreds of them. There are different models, some that even look more man mammalian than reptilian. And some of the photos that were even taken in completely different environments from the first. The more you see, the more certain you become. These are real. I guess. Synthetics do exist. Spider-Man does exist! You put down on the tablet for a moment. It's turn to space Mary, whose large smile betrays her pride and confidence in her work. How long have you been photoshopping these, Grandma? Do they actually work? Can you feel the kisses? A few more slides to the right, if you will. Is this gonna get spicy? Okay. <laughs> a video of one of those machines walking around on its hind legs, ordering coffee from a vending machine something without a care in the world. Cheerfully drinks the hot beverage alongside what seems to be a researcher composing amiably with them. It bursts into flames. It dies. It explodes. It kills the, the person beside it. Oh my gosh! Put me in it. Put me in it, my body. It has a different voice than the human. It still feels human. The way it speaks, the tone, its emotions, isn't just the AI. 
not a C grade, a pre grade. It's an S grade machine. A walking, talking, and very happy synthetic. Our first real success after six years of a first brand new experimentation and prototype happy. So, what do you think? Unbelievable, am I right? Nah, I've seen a lot of weird stuff. You like this of the puzzle, you start to feel the faint hope. So, can you put my brain in the body? You want me to put me on those train walking computers? You seem to catch up things with it. The way she chuckles at your remarks sends the strange vibes crushing down your spine. She enjoys oversimplifying her work and explanations. Far more than as professional as that you've ever met. Uh, right. What do you have to gain? Lots and lots of valuable data. Like I said, we are still testing this technology. We're rather interested to see what your effects in the new living quarters will have on you, among other things. This seems a little suspicious, but all right. What's the catch? Where's the catch? Where's the catch? What's the catch? Hmm? Yeah, why me? How much will you make me pay for this? How much it cost? Free, baby! Oh. You can't trick me. Nothing's ever truly free. Sweet new body, free of charge. We study you from afar and gather all that we need. Yeah. Just a bit, really. If I go rogue and kill thousands of people, will you blow me up? Mm, well, I guess so. Oh, okay. There's no way it's something very just be no second rest on my end. Alright, tell me more, I guess. Is that all? Sorry? Is that really all? She bites the corner of her lip, failing to conceal the doubt she has overtaken her. You prepare you are properly Settle yourself on the bed to bear and meet her gaze. It's difficult to tell for sure, but the first time she met her, she seemed unsure. It's not, is it? What else aren't you telling me? The cat sighs and the veins have to make her stress vanish from her face. She probably thought it was worth a shot. We'll find out what happens in the next episode. As always, thank you for watching. Be good at it. And I will see you eventually. <laughs>